Hello, this is Ricardo, and next on my long trip around the universe of Elite Dangerous 2.3 Beta, I'm going to be visiting the Asga system uh, to look for a Bowman class science vessel. Now, as this is a Bowman class science vessel, I don't anticipate that I'll be able to land on it. Fortunately, though, as you get into the Asga system, it's pretty close. To your jump in point. As we get closer we can see the planet that the science vessel is orbiting is a planet that's under a bit of distress. You can see the molten crust come through the, the planet's surface and this is obviously why in the universe of Elite Dangerous this ship is parked there to monitor the breakdown or the volcanic activity of this planet. And, and the planet really is pretty outstanding to look at. You can see the molten core there poking through. You know, it really is. It's quite a, a planet foreboding planet, I think. So we're very close now to dropping into where the Bowman ship is orbiting. And here indeed is the Bowman class science vessel. How 2001 a space odyssey is that? It's definitely been channeled, I think, from 2001 by, by Frontier. It's very, very similar. You know, command module at the front, drive system at the back. And that could be indicative of, of a lot of things. You know, I mean, if any of you have seen that film, uh, passengers with Jennifer Lawrence in it. That ship has a very similar configuration. So a very clean looking ship, a very modern looking ship. This is a science vessel after all. I think perhaps the design aesthetic has been that, well it's a science ship therefore it must be looking all nice and new. Take a look around the back of the drive section and the drives are illuminated so obviously in station keeping mode it's not rotating either it's parked in space it's not moving now as we maneuver around the other side we'll get an idea of the ship against the silhouette of the star you can't see a hell of a lot of detail but you know you can you can get an idea of the scale of the ship so as I mentioned, this is a science vessel. You can't dock at the ship. But you should be able to get fuel from the star in system. There are no areas that I've seen as I've flown around the ship either that you can do some fancy flying or stunt flying around like what can't you can do with some of the other ships. So you can't dock with it like you can at Fisher's Rest or with the Harmony. So it's very similar to the cargo ships uh, and the asteroid mining ship. Here's a better look at that command section. Definitely a 2001 Space Odyssey theme going on here. So as we move around now, and we can scan it. You can see there's all different materials, galvanized alloys, shield emitters, phase alloys, high density composites. And it may be a case of you'll be able to raid these ships and pick up the materials that are ejected from it. You could also then in hindsight have missions where you protect these science vessels from pirates who are gonna attack them to try and break down 
their components. This is just supposition, mind you. I don't know, have no idea what Frontier Developments are, are planning, but this is a very good opportunity for something like that to increase the gameplay and making it a more richer experience. So using the external camera now with the ASP, we can get a little sense of scale. This thing is huge. Anyway, I've been Ricardo. This has been the Bowman Science Vessel at the Asga system. Thank you very much for watching and look out for more videos of the mega ships in this series that have already been completed and that may be coming in the next couple of weeks while we still go through beta before the beta moves into production. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you soon.